So I'm just pulling up to my RV here while it's in storage outside, right? I don't store it indoors anymore. It was a convenience factor. Um, and so now that it's been out for a couple of months here in the rain, we've had a couple of freezing nights. I'm gonna go check out the RV. I gotta go take it over to Woody's just to have the couch tightened down. It came a little loose. I think they maybe didn't fasten it down after they replaced the floor. Um, and so I'm gonna bring it over there. They're gonna work me in on the very last day of the holiday season before they close out. So um, I'm, I'm excited. I appreciate that Woody's made a little space for me. They're, I'm gonna stand by while they fix the couch and then I can bring it back over here. But while I'm going in to check it out, let's make sure A, there's no water anywhere. I'm expecting there isn't. Uh, and two, let's see how cold it is. Let's 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 take a moment to warm up the trailer uh, from, from a cold start here and see uh, how long it takes to get the trailer to a comfortable temperature. She's alive. We're at 100%. That's a good place to start. So you can see here the humidity is quite high in here. Um, that's because I leave the window cracked We've got it around five degrees Celsius. And again, like 85% humidity. That should freak people out. That's one of the reasons I got a trailer with no wood construction. I keep this window just barely cracked. And I keep that just barely cracked. And that way, at least we have airflow through the trailer. So I'm gonna close that up for now. Now that kind of humidity should freak some people out. And I don't like it either. I live in a rainforest. And uh, it's pretty hard to keep uh, no moisture anywhere. So this is why I leave a slight vent going in and out. Uh, in the past, I have used some of the dry bags and stuff like that. I may bring that in here. <sighs> what can you do, right? I mean, how do you keep the humidity out of your trailer uh, when you can't keep it powered up, when you can't keep it ventilated? It's a challenge. But anyway, we got a cold start situation here. Let's go ahead and power up the rig here and then power up the Truma Combi and see, does it work? Let's go ahead and whoop, let's go to the heater here. Let's turn that up. Yes, it's on Fahrenheit. I'm an American by birth and I think in Fahrenheit. And let's turn this up to high. All right, now theoretically, the heater should turn on in a minute here. We should start getting some cold air until it starts to heat up and then we get some warm air. I just turned the propane on. So, you know, sometimes in the past, you gotta like turn on your stove for a second, make sure that the propane system is fully uh, populated. But I'm guessing there was still propane in there because I never really drained it or anything. Let's see what happens. The fans have definitely kicked on. Uh, of course, it's cold air at first. So I'm gonna shut the door, give it a second. Uh, go check my email and then come back and see if it's warmed up at all. Well, I haven't gone back inside yet, but that's a good sign. Definitely warm air coming out of there. All right, we're a few minutes in. The heat's coming out, but we haven't actually heated up the thermometer yet. And it is against the outside wall. So uh, I'm not sure if that's going to be the best indicator, but can't quite feel it's warm. But, you know, it probably help if I shut the back door. <laughs> All right, okay, the needle is starting to move. They're getting up to like, you know, from five to six. I imagine after a little bit here, we're gonna get to 10. I'll check the timestamps and put down how long has been elapsed below, but uh, we're getting there. Still really high on the humidity. <laughs> All right, there we go. We're getting much closer to an acceptable temperature. Uh, where it's chill starting to come off the trailer. It's been about 30 minutes now since we fired this up. So, you know, that first hour is going to be a little chilly. You're going to be wearing a jacket if you're taking this thing straight out of freezing temperatures and, and straight into, uh, you know, trying to be inside it. If I was pulled into a rest area right now and it was cold and we were going to spend an hour or two in here, I would almost certainly just throw on my generator and then put my portable uh, electric uh, heater on just for a little while, just to supplement and get the temperature up. And then I just let the Trump the Truma Combi take over for you know, the rest of my needs. Um, so that's the way I deal with the faster warm up is I just use an electric heater often. But I thought I'd give it a try here. So from a cold start, uh, we're up from around five degrees to around eight to nine degrees. Um, and that's again on the wall. Uh, the air temperature is just a little warmer than that wall temperature. 
so we got past 10 degrees Celsius um, and that's after running the uh, Truma Combi for around 45 minutes and after running the Truma Combi for around 45 minutes and I did drive for about 10 minutes so I'm sure that added some charge but uh, I'm at 99% so it barely used any power theoretically I could have put it on the combo propane and electrical but you know that takes a lot more power I gotta turn on the inverter so that would theoretically uh, speed it up Thank you.